Rice, who is destined to make headlines. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local welterweight circuit en route to his Octagon debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is making his way to the octagon for his UFC debut. Of course, he was discovered on Dana White looking for a fight, and man, did he shine that night as such. Here he is making that aforementioned UFC debut. The question is, will there be jitters? More often than not, you do see newcomers experience some of those nerves during fight week, but especially on fight night. He's not wide-eyed right now. Well, if there's an adrenaline dump early, that could be an advantage for his opponent. Nonetheless, good to see him making the walk tonight. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. So the decorated submission specialist has arrived on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. And even at the UFC level, not a lot of guys are used to facing submission opponents at this level. Gotta think, path of least resistance tonight is to take the fight to the ground and look to set up some of those patented chokes. Good to see a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner of this caliber where he belongs in the big show. This guy is an elite submission fighter. What he wants to do is get this fight to the ground where he will have a distinct advantage over his opponent. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official intro. Here we go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's and we are underway go! here at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. All right, so here we go with round one. This is his UFC debut. Many of you saw his last fight on Dana White looking for a fight and certainly got it done that night with flying colors. Now we'll see if his game translates to the big show. The fights get bigger, the spotlight gets bigger. Prevailing wisdom is this young man can handle. Really good job landing that series of punches. Oh! Hard shot from the clinch. Back to the feet. Almost now he's got double underhooks. Battle for position here. He's got double underhooks here. Over underhooks here. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Goes upstairs for an elbow. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Under three minutes to go in round one. Beautiful trip. Oh, and he connects there. He's posturing up here. Nice punch to the body. He's got to be careful, the guillotine here. Under two minutes to go. He's free from the guillotine. Oh, lands that punch. 
Big body punch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Oh! Damn! He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Oh, he might be out. Hard hook. Oh, oh. very nice. Oh, he tagged him. Big right hand lands. This could be it right here. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Disengage from the clinch. 20 seconds left. Yeah. Almost now he's got double underhooks in the clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. That hurt sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen. You can do this now. Ready? All right, let's get to round two. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh, huge right hand. hand! This could be it. Back to the feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he grabbed an arm triangle here. It. Big punch from the bottom. Vicious ground and pound from half guard. And he connects with the punch there. Now he's in full guard. Oh, lands the elbow there from top position. Surprised that one didn't open him up. Big shot from the bottom. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. And he connects there, Joe. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. He's out! He's out! He'll do it! Stop. Ground and pound knockout. Love me some ground and pound, Joe, as he gets his opponent out of there and finishes the fight. He was not stalling whatsoever. Big shots from top position. It's one thing when you're trying to score. It's another thing when you're actually trying to end the fight. He was trying to finish the fight and certainly succeeded. Outstanding TKO victory for him there. Great angle here. I mean, just stiff. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki's call to stop to this contest at one minute, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout assassin. Well, that's how you seize the moment in the UFC debut as he gets the job done here tonight. And the celebration is on with his coaches and his teammates. 1-0 in the big show. Can't start much better than that.